<laughs> what did you just do? Oh, she called for help. Hello, I'm hungover. <laughs> I think I've just been pulled through a hedge. <laughs> a very beautiful hedge. <laughs> I'm not on my own today. I'm with one of my bestest girls ever in the whole wide world. Oh, my hello. twinkle. We used to get called twins, but now we don't because I got orange hair and she's got blonde hair. <laughs> but when and then we made Colin. He's, he's we made him. Him. <laughs> We shagged and we made Colin. <laughs> we made a sausage We made a sausage job. We've got ginger eyebrows. Sausage. Yeah, he's actually matched child. I put up on my story today, ask questions. I can't really move in this jumpsuit. I should have taken it off. <laughs> Just got naked. Zip it, how far does it go down? Oh, how far do you want it to go down? <laughs> Best advice for a sexy date? Oh, Even no, just life. nothing. Heels? You're wearing nothing. No, as in you go feel naked. good wear nothing. Oh, oh, on the date. On the date, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> just... I got the question wrong. <laughs> it's not juicy, but can you speak in Spanish at least a little bit? Mm. Una saca puntas. <laughs> I think it's a pencil case. Pencil <laughs> case. I think. How to spice things up in bed with your partner and how to let them know you want to spice it up. Spice it up your life, everybody live your spice it up. I know what you're about to Twin. Twin. Sorry, Matt, she's let it out of the bag. Imagine if Matt and I just sung. When to become one, I need some love. <laughs> Sorry to our fathers. No, we're not gonna go too mad. No. It's like a workout, like, you always like, oh, getting to, getting to the gym is the hardest bit. Mm. And then actually when you've done it, you feel incredible. Yeah, it's like, it's so like true. It is, because yeah. like, you're lying in bed, you're like, oh, I could just go to sleep now. But you remember how good that connection is between you both after you've done it, mm. especially in a long-term relationship. Yes. This is something I think quite a lot of couples struggle with. Yeah, you go through periods. To keep it, yeah, to kind of keep it going. I think when you're tired, you're mm. stressed. So I think it's really important to be like, right, tonight is your night, <laughs> baby. <laughs> it's about surprising them and keeping on Surprise, their Surprise, mother <laughs> <laughs> God, I was like, what? Just having a bit of confidence. Yeah. And like, it, you could literally be wearing like the worst thing, but if you're confident in yourself and you like, you feel good, this aura just comes over you, yeah, doesn't it? And definitely. And the guys are just like, oh my yeah, God, what you're amazing. This? Yeah, I just yeah. burped sausages. <laughs> Vegan sausages. Vegan sausage. Talking about sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about vegan sausage. <laughs> Matt's is not vegan. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of pressure on sex and like it having to be amazing every yeah. single time, like or having to do it. And even when you're in a relationship, being like, I've, we've got to do it to keep the spark, whatever. Like take that pressure off. And you're so right. When I'm tired, I'm like, I turn around mm -hmm. and I'm like, no. I think that's, and that's absolutely fine as well. I think when people are stressed, like, or they are super tired, and it's no more like just for the sake of it. It's yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You feel like you have to do it. And then if they're not, people are like, oh God, does that mean our relationship's going down? Yeah. Like, it and then it gets into your head. So I got married in September. <laughs> Get that ring out, honey. Yes, she did. And it was a beautiful wedding. And Tessa's husband is amazing. Shout out, Adam. Adam, he's Oi. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Adam, hello, <laughs> Adam. <laughs> Adam actually has got, I love him so much, but his feet are the ugliest. Got to them later. My oh. mom split up with someone because how awful their feet were. Did she? she broke up with them because she saw their feet and she was like, nah, it wasn't oh, my dad. Oh, um, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> Socks all the time, please. <laughs> it was four years ago, we went on our first date. Um, right guy, wrong time. Yeah. And, Went for a few dates, just I think other relationships and just broke, you know, like had just recently broken up from them. She went out with some assholes. I hope they watch this. Yeah, me too. Shout out to yeah, the assholes. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> some nasty men, which I think we all have to do, don't we? Yeah, you've got to go through it. So then realise the good ones as well. I'm so glad that when I did re meet him, I was not the person that I was back then. And he was just, and then we met on a night out again randomly from, I think, seeing him again. I just knew he was going to be my husband. I can't, I literally cannot believe you're married. Every time, like, I say, and I'm like, oh yeah, my best friend's husband. 
<laughs> like it's still really it's weird. So old, isn't it? No, not old. I think I think there's like for women there's such a time pressure on everything. Mm. There's, there's a really funny quote that I saw today. <laughs> when you're making popcorn, like the the popcorn kernels are popping at all different times, aren't they? Yeah. It's like your group of girls, like you're all going to be popping at so different true. times. What it's a good so, analogy. I know. I was like. I love the popcorn. Like, it took my dad 10 years to propose to my mum and Matt is always like, oh, I love your dad so much, I respect him. I'm like, I will not be here yeah. in 10 years, mate, <laughs> honestly. I think my mum and dad were the same as well. Were they? For ages, but then they did meet when they were super young. So I yeah, guess well, my, yeah, mine did. My mum was 18. So yeah. how do you deal with breakups? To start with, it's so raw mm. and you're kind of like, I've made the wrong decision, I've made the right decision, why didn't I do this ages ago? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm never gonna get over him. Like there are so many emotions yeah. that just attack you when Definitely. you least expect it. I feel like every single relationship we've been through have like brought us to Matt and Adam. Surrounding yourself with your friends, people that make you happy, people that are positive, mm -hmm. and people that will just listen instead of be like, Oh, but he was a dick. You just kind of want someone just to listen to you instead of being like, get over him. I have done something before with a relationship and actually a friendship that kind of ended where like I wrote their name and I wrote loads of memories of us down onto a piece of paper and then I like scribbled it out and it was so nice just like scribbling it out. Like then I literally like, like scrunched the paper and chucked it in the bin I was like, Oh, it's hard giving advice because I'm always one to try and like give advice, aren't yeah. I? But then actually for breakups, it's so hard because you never ever knew their relationship as well as they did. Mm. So sometimes exactly. I just sit and listen. And as well with friends, it's always like, I think it's always two sides of your story, mm. but then with friends, you only have to hear the one. Yeah. So you only hear their side, don't you? And so, you're always like, if they've done something wrong, yeah. you're like, I hate them. Yeah. And then if they get back together, you're like, <laughs> I, know. I, know. I try and always think, if I like, give friends advice, to think, if, especially ones I know really well, to kind of what it would be like from their partner, so what yeah. they would actually be saying, mm. to try and help show, well, maybe it's come from that. Because I think so many problems with breakups is that there's just like lack of communication, isn't yeah. there? Friends that go back to the same guy. Mm. The it's same like, come type. on. It's, like, it's the same as your ex and your ex and your ex. And like with types, I would always be that person that was like, I don't have a type. But honestly, if you went through all my ex-boyfriends <laughs> and now I'm at Matt, I mean, orange was always my favorite color. <laughs> um, thoughts on people's assumptions that the minute you're married, the next thing is babies. That's so true, especially on social media, you literally get all the time, like, when are you having a baby? Why, why are you not pregnant yet? And the scariest thing in life for me, my biggest fear is not being able to have children because I want them so bad. And I am so sorry to anyone out there that has had troubles conceiving or can't have children. I honestly, I don't even know, I can't yeah. imagine you are, that. You are literally <sighs> children baby obsessed mad i just love them like i feel like i was put on this earth to be a mummy and i've calmed down a bit in the in like the past six months because i was like matt's gonna run away did you, did you see on this one the other day there, had, there was one that was like a family of 45. i saw yeah. it wasn't 45 it, was, <laughs> it looked like 45. <laughs> it looked like a school photo <laughs> Why lens to get them all in? <laughs> Obviously you're very maternal and you know, you, you are probably gonna have the 25 children. But for some people as well, they don't wanna have it and they're like, well why don't I wanna have exactly. it? Exactly. And like, and question yeah, it exactly. And, yeah. and Adam and I have said like, obviously now we're married like it we, we do obviously want a family and when it happens it happens mm. and it will happen at the right time <laughs> i could not go through a pregnancy without twin so if i get pregnant in a few weeks does that mean then you're going to have to do so <laughs> <laughs> let's get shagging tonight <laughs> <laughs> but i think it's just like a very uh, personal thing and I think if you are being asked it a lot, you just be like, yeah. oh, we're just doing it in our own time. Yeah, exactly. And I think don't ever put pressure on yourself. No. Again, there's no right time to get married, no right time to get engaged, there's no right time to have kids. It's just exactly whenever it whenever it fits with your life. Do you prefer waxing or shaving? Shaving. Or natural. Or natural? Or natural. <laughs> I shave down like this, as in I don't shave up because it like. See the lawnmower, you know those like you do strips. <laughs> yeah. Literally one down and one up. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> and then Tess gets out her head <laughs> trimmers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I'm a waxer and I don't actually You're get that. You're a waxer? No. <laughs> I just lied to you. I'm a shaver. I'm a shaver and I'm a proud shaver because yeah. it doesn't actually affect me. I've done waxing once and I cried. So I'm a shaver, not necessarily about directions, but um, what, you don't <laughs> you follow don't... my directions. I gave you a manual. Every, day, every time I'm in the shadow, yeah. you can think of you oh, and right. lawn <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if you haven't shaved downwards, shave downwards. Oh, I'm really hot. I'm gonna take this off. Okay, take I think off. it's the lot. Same wax as well. It's just the whole waxing is very oh, stressful. Oh, that's horrible. So many people. My don't my know. like my my whole legs were like out wide. Like, yeah. She saw what I had for breakfast. How, how did she go up? <laughs> <laughs> You're not waxing my insides, yeah. are you? My womb. <laughs> We've been through so much together, and even though it's only been what five, I say five six years. I don't think it was six. I think I was 20. Yeah, I must must be coming up to six. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah, for watching. So much Thank you, guys. Doing cool. Love, love you so you. much. I love you. You're the best. I'm so lucky to have a best friend like you. That was such an awkward cuddle because I can't. <laughs> I can't. Oh, Colin? Colin's like, I'm struggling with that. Oh. Colin, hello. hello. Are you no, right now? Are you say hello. <laughs> say hello. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Breastfeeding. Oh, why did you have to say that?